Okay. So, I want to pray this prayer over you all that I just learned myself. So, first and foremost, we just want to say thank you, Lord God, for this, this beautiful day. Thank you for your graciousness over us, Lord God. Thank you for I'm just so grateful for everything you're doing and have done in our lives already. Especially, especially right now, Lord God, the present, because you are the father of many, but the gift is in the present in Jesus' name. So, dear Lord God, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ that every person who hears this message will face reality, Lord God, that there is only two ways to live. Out of the will of God or in the will of God, Lord God, which is godly, which is in the will of God, and you have dog, which is out of the will of God, Lord God. Only the way to get in his will, in your will, Lord God, is through Jesus, the Holy Spirit, to live the will in and through God, Lord God, to keep our focus on you, God. You have provided, you will provide. We love you, Father. Keep it upon our lips. That you want the best for us, Lord God. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, is we to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's the prayer for us today. Like I said, I just learned it, so I'm still getting it. I just want y'all to hear it. Um, but there reality is there are only two ways to live. You can either live like like God or like a dog, which is the opposite of God. You can write it out. G O D backwards is D O G. And I feel like, in my opinion, the the way to identify dog and God is a person who truly changed their life for God. And they're not simply just saying like, oh, yeah, I believe in God, but their works aren't adding up to it. Right. OK, so I feel like in my mind and in my heart and my spirit that that's the opposite of God. I was trying to look for my book because I wrote this out yesterday, but I'm pretty much giving y'all what I remember and what I know. Oh, here you go. Right here. Um. Also, the opposite of God is to rebel to rebel against God. You believe in God, you're not gonna rebel against Him. You're gonna do His word, no matter who it hurts. You're gonna let them deal with the consequences, okay? And that's being calm, cool, collected, and patient, responding in a godly manner. Ladies, men, let go and let God. You hold on to something that God has already let go and forgiven you for, because I'm pretty sure you had a part in that too. So let's be honest. Let's be realistic now. Now, dog. In my eyes and what I've learned is flavored. You know, they act like they believe in God. They just taste good for a second. Then they get sour later on. That's not God because God is favored, not flavored. All right. Um, I also learned godly people do smoke. I ain't going to hold you. You're not going to like to hear, but they do. It's a meditation thing. You meditate in God as long as you're doing it the right way and not overly indulging in it. I feel like dogs smoke. I mean, not smoke. I feel like dogs drink because it turns you to a whole different person. You're not going to like to hear this word, but it's the truth. Um, of course, dog is fake and God is real. You know, dog don't really go to sleep. God do go to sleep because we rest in Christ. All right. And dog don't really care about their flesh. God do. So care about your flesh and spirit and let God do everything else. Just continue to live in yourself and be creative and learn who you are in God. And that right there is how you learn to be in Christ. You can't allow nobody else to get to you or come to your spirit, your energy, because they have nothing over you. If they want to live in the past, let them live in the past and let them be a dog. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great Tuesday.